Today, I'm gonna build my free Madden 23 team and show you guys the absolute best players to pick for free in the game when it drops. 1,000 likes on this video, I'll give away a copy of Madden 23 for free. Speaking of free, just comment down below and hit that like button and be sub with noties on. The first way I'm gonna build this free team is by using all these rookie premier tokens. I have 143 of them and I've already made two. The first one I'm making is Kair Elam, but it doesn't matter which ones you pick on Madden 22 because on Madden 23, you get to choose which ones you want still all that we're going for here is making the rookie premier tokens anything else past that does not matter it doesn't matter what cards i get or anything like that at all we're adding damari mathis as well harry on winfrey luke godecki chaining tyndall is going to be an absolute monster in the game so obviously me making him here doesn't really matter much but i'm definitely picking him for madden 23 he's going to be a super good user for the first little bit of the game being out and i mean his stats speak for themselves he has 96 speed in this game and i believe in 23 he has 86 which is in insane to start off the year of course with the lower overalls and the lower speed and everything it's gonna be super invaluable to have that card as for quarterbacks i don't really know if i'm going to use one it seems like a good decision but at the same time i don't know if desmond ritter is gonna get escape artist or anything like that so it's a tough decision to make overall but if he does get escape artist he probably would be the move for madden 23 additionally we got to get the future defensive rookie of the year Kayvon thibodeau absolute monster i cannot wait to watch this guy play I'm honestly considering getting a jersey of his. He's just so good. And I'm heavily considering making him a 23. But the number one guy, in my opinion, is Tyquan Thornton. This guy has insane speed. He's going to be one of the fastest cards in all of Madden 23 when he drops. I believe he's dropping with 86 or 87 speed at like six foot three. Not quite as good as Jamar Chase was last year with his rookie premiere, but he's still going to be on a similar level. And then we'll add Trayvon Walker. The number two pick in the draft, Aiden Hutchinson, Jalen Tolbert and Jordan Davis, which is going to give us a ton of rookie premier tokens, an absolute monstrous amount. I'm so excited to put all these cards into Madden 23 and just finally have a free set of cards that I can use. I believe I'll have 13 of them, which means I'll be able to make two auctionable rookie premieres and then also one non-auctionable tradable rookie premiere, which I'm completely fine with. As long as I get some good cards that I can sell and play around with the market, then I'm totally happy. And that right there was pretty much the finale of my Madden 22 video. So thank you for sticking around for those for so long but out of all those players i'm going to be choosing first things first is gonna be kair elam he's a six foot two cornerback probably the best one overall in my opinion other than one of the other guys i'm choosing which i already said is the best one he has 84 acceleration 85 jumping 86 man 86 speed 86 press of course at six foot two gonna be a complete beast to start the game off additionally i'm gonna be taking tyquan thornton as my wide receiver for rookie premiere like i already said he has 86 speed at six foot two with 88 catching. You cannot top that to start the year, especially for free. So if you guys have those rookie premier tokens, take this guy. I promise you, you will not be disappointed whatsoever. Whether you're running no money spent team or if you're going to spend money on the game, either way, you're going to love that card. And then I'm going to either take this Channing Tyndall who has 88 acceleration, six foot two middle linebacker with 87 hit power and 86 speed. Or I'm going to take this Daxton Hill who is six feet tall with 87 acceleration and 86 speed, the new free safety for the Bengals. I'm not sure which of those guys I'm going to choose between, but it's definitely going to be one of those two. And now we have our free team captain. We get to choose one of these guys. They get to go up to 88 overall. And of course, at the end of the year, they will be a 99 overall for free. So this is a tough decision to make. We've got Sam Adams, Eric Allen, Larry Zonka, and Keyshawn Johnson. And honestly, out of these guys, I think the one I'm going to choose between is Keyshawn or Sam Adams. We're obviously already getting a cornerback, so I don't really need one, although this Eric Allen would be a monster. And while I do have that Tyquan Thornton, it would be a good idea to get a great wide receiver alongside him. But a defensive tackle is really hard to come by that is really good at the beginning of the year, so I'm going to go with Sam Adams to bolster up that defensive line. He's going to have 79 Excel, 87 Block Shed, 70 Finesse Move, super mid right there. But he has 85 Play Rock with the 88 Power move and 78 speed at 350 pounds he's looking like a eddie lacy type out there sam adams though looks like a great card i think he's going to be my defensive tackle to start the year and then for our all madden card you get four cards to choose from cam chancellor cooper cup micah parsons and barry sanders now out of all these guys i am a huge barry sanders fan i'm a stan of him i have a jersey of his for god's sakes and i think my decision is gonna come down to micah parsons and then barry sanders who has 86 
six speed. It's Barry Sanders. He's going to be one of the best cards in the game if you do choose this card. So between those two, I honestly really want Barry Sanders. And while it isn't the better choice over Micah Parsons, I think he's going to be a much better card. Barry Sanders is just way too fun for me to pass up on. And at the end of the day, this is ultimate team. I don't entirely care about having the meta players. I want to have fun with the game. And Barry Sanders will make the game infinitely more fun for me. So I have to go with him. And then you get the choice of a few 83s to choose from. For your pre-order bonus for getting the game early, guys like Lamar Jackson, Jabril Peppers, Isaiah Simmons, Montez Sweat, and DeAndre Swift, along with Jalen Waddle. Well, Lamar Jackson looks super good. I mean, obviously, he's going to be one of the fastest quarterbacks in the game, if not the fastest with his 85 speed. Jabril Peppers also looks nice, plus he's on my New England Patriots, and he has 83 zone, but his speed is only 82, and we are already taking a free safety, so he's definitely not a choice for me. Isaiah Simmons, on the other hand, has 83 speed, which is super low for him, but he is six foot four with the 84 acceleration and 82 zone coverage. Isaiah Simmons cards are also super glitchy usually, so this one wouldn't be a bad choice. But for me, it's going to come down to Montez Sweat with his 80 speed and 83 finesse move at six foot six and Jalen Waddle at 86 speed. And I love me some fast wide receivers and I love Jalen Waddle in general coming out of Alabama. So I have to go with Mr. Waddle here. He's going to be an absolute goon to start the year. And I just want to hook the ball downfield. I need to go with him. And then if you purred the game a little bit late, you do get the choice between all these 82 overall headliners players. And out of all of these, there is one obvious choice for me, which is this 82 Caleb Farley. And you guys might be a little bit confused why I say that, but he has 87 speed at six foot two. And speed is the end all be all in Madden every single year. So this Caleb Farley is going to be super, super good for the first couple weeks of the game. If you don't choose him as your free card, I truly don't know what you're doing. And I'm definitely taking him. And you do get one of these 86s for free from solos. They already stated that. And the very best one is this Donald Parham Jr. And it's not even close. He is six foot eight at tight end with 85 speed. There's not much more that needs to be said. The card is going to be an absolute goon. As for the rest of the players that I want to add to my team day one of Madden that aren't going to be free, but I still really want. Josh Allen is going to be the best quarterback in the game for who knows how long. 84 deep accuracy. He's got an 89 throw on the run, 89 throw power with that 80 speed. He is going to be such a fun card to use. I absolutely need Jalen Ramsey on my team. I always get him every single year. He's such a great cornerback at all times of the year with every card he gets. It's always a top two or three cornerback in Madden. And this one looks like an absolute beast. And you can't build a Madden team without Derwin James, who is also a Madden Ultimate Team fan himself. We have to get him on the team. Six foot two, 84 speed. What else needs to be said? And thankfully, injuries aren't in Madden Ultimate Team, so he'll be completely fine the whole year. At left outside linebacker, TJ Watt is going to be the best one in the game, but there's something about Joey Bosa cards that he always plays good for me. You guys let me know who that one card is every year that always balls out for you and plays above their stats. That for me is Joey Bosa for whatever reason, and he already looks really good, so I can't wait to absolutely destroy people with him. He's literally unstoppable for me. I, I don't know why. And then for right outside linebacker, I need my boy. Khalil Mack. He needs to be lined up with his friend, Joey Bosa. They're on the same team now. They're going to be destroying O-lines in real life, and they're going to be destroying them for me in Madden Ultimate Team 23. And of course, we cannot miss out on my favorite receiver in the NFL. This guy right here throws to him. Mr. Jamar Chase. Now, he's he's my favorite receiver in the NFL, tied with Justin Jefferson, also from LSU, because I'm a simp for LSU. But Jamar Chase has to be on my squad. 86 speed. He's going to be an absolute god. I'm going to do whatever I can to get this card day one. Even if I have to rip a million packs, be ready for those videos. And like I just said, I love Justin Jefferson just as much, so I'm going to be adding him as well. If that means I have to replace some free cards or not get free cards to get him, then I'm completely fine with that. I love JJ. Jettis. He's the GOAT. Top two receiver in the league. No one can change my mind. And last but not least, certainly we need Aaron Donald on our D-line. He's one of the best defensive players of all time. It is impossible to dispute that at this point. Aaron Donald needs to be on my team. And while he's not a left end, I'm gonna get him and put him at left end. Miles Garrett. He needs to be on the squad as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to click right here for my first video of Madden 23. And if it's not out yet, this is going to be a different video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy, so click it.